Today I'm going to teach you how to create custom Instagram Reel covers in Canva and also I'm going to show you how to upload these covers to your Reels in Instagram. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here I am in my Canva homepage and the doc type that I'm going to be using for this Instagram Reel cover is an Instagram story. And I'm doing this because there are so many different options to choose from if you want to use a template. If we go for an Instagram story, because if you go to the search bar at the moment and type Reel Cover, you don't find any option. We have Instagram real video, but this is different. So I guess you can find designs or templates that you can use from the Instagram story. So I already have it here in the for you section. It is here. If not, you can just go to social media and you will find it over here. So Instagram story. Here I am in my Canva editor and the first thing that I like to do is to add some guides when I'm creating these covers. And why am I doing this? Because when you go to Instagram and you go to somebody else's feed, you will see that on the reels you see just a square format from the real cover. So I'm just putting an image here so you can understand what I mean by this. Okay, going back to our Canva editor, I'm going to select a square shape. So we have it here under lines and shapes. So click on the square. And now I'm just going to drag this anchor by pressing Alt or Option. I'm pressing <laughs> and then I'm dragging the anchor to the corner until the side of the square touches the edge of the page. Now let's go to file, make sure that you have show guides selected and then also show rulers. This is important. Now that we have the rulers here, I can click and drag and now I have this guide over here and I will do the same. I'm bringing the guides towards the end of the square. So I'm just creating the guides horizontally. And now that I have the guides, I can delete this square. So delete. And now these lines will guide me when I'm designing because I know that this square is going to be visible in my Instagram feed. So I'm going to position all the important information inside this square space and then we have the freedom to add some other elements in the upper and the bottom section. This section will be visible on your real section, so make sure that you are adding something that it will be nice to look at. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to add some extra information for your real feed or your real section, you can do it as well. Okay, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you two different real cover styles. I'm going to show you my Instagram feed that I have here. Okay, so here I have my testing Instagram account and I will show you these two different kind of real covers. So you see that we have some pictures. We just see the picture. So I'm going to teach you how to create that. And the second one, I'm just going to show you how to create these custom real covers. So let's start with the first idea. It's going to be this one. This is a custom real cover. And as I told you, you can go to templates and find any template that you like, but we are going to do something special because you would like to search or try to find some templates that have all the information gathered at the center. So you can use any of these templates or you can type my name, Diana Munoz, without any spacing and hit enter. So here we have a bunch of free templates and also pro templates. The pro templates are available only for Canva Pro users. Canva Pro users can use everything <laughs> that you see here. So what I was saying is that, for example, this template has all the information at the center of the design. So let me bring it to the page. And as you can see, the information is inside my 
my guidelines so I could perfectly use this template as a real cover and just change the text and the images. So let me go back. So yeah, you can take a look and find any design that you like. If you don't find something that you like on this search result, you can also click on the three dots and then view more by Diana Munoz or Diana Munoz, click on it and then you will see more designs over here. So you have plenty to choose from. Okay, so this is in case that you want to use templates, but if you want to create them by yourself and start from scratch, this is what we are going to be doing today. Let's go to the elements section. Here I'm going to open graphics so click on see all and here I would like to mention that Canva has this special section that says design for a cause so click on see all today I'm going to be using these designs or these elements just to bring awareness that if you use any of these elements on your designs and then export them Canva is going to be donating some money to a specific cause so at this moment, they are, I guess, donating to, let me show you, Design for a Cause. They are in a partnership with the UN Refugee Agency. You can like read more information about this project or this cause if you click on this link right here. So, because I really love this about Canva, today I'm going to be using some of these elements for this Instagram Reel cover. So, let's bring some of these flowers over here. I'm just going to duplicate them. And here I would like to give you a specific Tip. Do not position any important information on this corner. So let me show you. We have this guide and here we have this small corner. Here I don't like to position any important information because we are going to have on this corner the Instagram Reel icon. So that's why I'm positioning this flower right here. This is just decoration so it doesn't matter. Now let's add another element on this corner just to make the design look balanced and because this cover is going to be related to Instagram let's search for Instagram and here we have a couple of logos like this one I think it's important to position it on my design or to add it to my design so yeah I'm leaving the icon or the logo on this corner for the same reason that I just told you. If I were to position the icon here and this flower over here, this icon or this logo, it will be covered by the real icon. Now let's go to the text category because I want to add a heading. Let me close this window and now I want to show you something that might be useful. So let's go to font. I want to use a different font. So the tip that I want to share with you guys today is to click on the search box. Just click on top of it and now Canva is taking you to this new window let's say and we have a bunch of different categories of of fonts below the search box. So I think this is quite interesting because, let me go back, if we were to find a specific font style over here, it might take us a long time because Canva has so many different fonts that it could be overwhelming. So if you just click on top of the search box, you can find a bunch of different categories that Canva already filtered for us. So let me just give you a couple of examples. So let me click on calligraphy and let me see the search results. So we have a bunch of calligraphy fonts filtered here already. Let me go back and go for let's say display so we have different display fonts already here so i really love playful and fun fonts and i usually go for the comic category and here today i'm going to be using more sugar so here we are and then let's type create a custom real cover. Okay, so this is my text. I will adjust the size. And 
now let's download this real cover. Let's go to the navigation bar on top, hit download, make sure that you are selecting either PNG or JPEG and then download. And now let's create this Instagram real cover in which we are just going to feature an image or a photo. This one is so simple, <laughs> so I'm just going to add a page on this same document. Go to elements, go below until you see grids and insert the first grid that you see here. Okay, so now we have the grid covering the whole page but we want to adjust it so it goes or it covers the section that it is going to be visible on your instagram feed so that's inside these two guidelines that we have here something else that i want to mention that i guess i forgot to mention before is that these guides, these purple guides that we see here are not going to be visible when we are exporting our final cover. This is just guides that will allow us to design better. Okay, so we have our frame here. I already uploaded a photo that I want to use on my feed. So I just need to drag my photo inside the frame and that's it. If you want to add some extra information that you think it's going to be valuable when people go to your real feed then you can add some text boxes over here let me just do it quickly go to text add a heading and then just insert your text box here so tutorial or oh, let me say maybe animation you can change the font and anything else that you want to adjust you have all the options over here so animation and let me just use all caps and let me add another text box here tutorial so as i already mentioned what we see on these empty spaces above and below it is only going to be visible on your reels feed if you go to your instagram feed the first section of your profile that you see you will only see the photo so let me download it in this case because we have two pages i'm just going to select second page because I already downloaded page one and download. Now I'm going to show you how to upload these covers to your reels on Instagram. But first let me read the comment of the week. This time it comes from the web stylist. She or he <laughs> says thanks always for your positively rocking awesomeness Diana. I really loved this comment because I think it is not only us, Ronnie and me, who are bringing this positive positive vibes but it is also you guys via the comments and you know like all the beautiful messages that you send us so thank you also to you the web stylist thank you so much for your awesome vibes and your beautiful messages and now let's go back to the tutorial Okay, so I already sent the images, the real covers to my phone and I'm going to show you how to upload them to your reels on Instagram. So I have my two images here and let's do this one with the photo. So let's go to Instagram and let's go to the upper section to create your reel. Okay, so here you will be filming your video or uploading your video. Let's say that I'm going going to film a couple of seconds here and now preview let's go to next and here you are going to insert a caption you know like do all of the things that you need to do before posting but before you post you would like to click on cover so you have the image here click on cover now if you look at the bottom section it says add from camera roll so click on the plus or add from camera roll and now select your cover I have my image here this is the one that I want to use for this specific reel and now hit on done you will add your caption you know like do your things and then share so here I have my custom cover and this is the way it looks on my profile on my feed but if I go to the reels feed I will have access to the full image 
and I will have more information basically if you were to write some text on the top and bottom section you will be able to see it from here and before finishing this tutorial I want to show you that on my Canva profile we have new templates so let me just go down below because there is this specific batch of free templates these are Instagram stories and Instagram posts that you can use for Thanksgiving all of these templates templates are for anyone, any Canva user, so free accounts or pro accounts can use these templates. So these are available on my profile and I'm going to leave you guys the link in the description down below. I'm also going to leave the link here to my Canva profile and to tutorials in case that you want to keep learning about Canva. I think this is it for today. I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!